Hey YouTubers and Yoshi fans, this is Hooray for Yoshi. We are picking up on our second half of this battle um, where we had to leave off. Uh, sorry it's taking so long to upload some more videos. I've had some technical difficulties with recording and uploading, but should be back and going. So, anyways, uh, we're just battling this lock off on our way, and we we're going to catch it um, on our way out of the Petalberg Woods. Um, I don't think any of you commented yet on my other video to give it a name, so I'm just going to give it my own name. And so yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and go and finish this battle. Um, I'm going to try and keep my future videos a little bit shorter. The last one was almost an hour, but I'm going to try and do them at, in about 20 to 25 minute in, um, videos from now on. Just a little bit easier for me to record, a little bit easier for me to get content to you frequently and uh, I will probably have less issues with trying to create HD content and uploading to YouTube because I have no idea what was going on. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue this battle. We have level 15 Slackoth and our level 9 uh, Wanda, which I don't know. I don't think Wanda can, can take it, so we're going to try and just... Um, you, we're going to use Humbles to help even the odds. So we're just going to start off with Water Gun, which is going to be helpful. And looks like this slack off ability is Truant, which is annoying. It means like every other turn you can't do anything. Which, you know, is helpful in a Pokemon battle, because you only want to be able to go every other turn, right? Looks like we've received an encore. Slackoth loved our mud slap so much that he wants us to continue. Which is good for us because not only will it not attack us every other turn, but we're going to keep um, lowering its accuracy. So when it does attack, it may not even work. <clears throat> Alright. And we avoided it go us. Another mud slap. It's loafing around. I never really understood the word loafing. It always sounded like bread loaf to me. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh great, just what we need. To fall asleep. Oh no, it was rest. That's not us. Just keep going, I guess. <clears throat> we can give it another mud slap, and maybe we'll switch back to uh, our Wanda. Maybe we'll try and poison it. So it can um, start lowering its own health. Because if it keeps doing that, it's going to be an annoying battle. Let's do. Yeah, let's do Wanda. Wanda's a little bit stronger. Alrighty. Alright, Wanda Poison Sting. Not doing much for us, but what can you do, right? <clears throat> there we go. That'll be helpful. Poison will do more damage than we do at this point. I'm going to switch back to Humbles, because he can help us do more damage. Goodness gracious. Let's just try a regular tackle and see how that helps.
better. Alright, let's keep going. Let's try and catch it now that we got it down this far. Alright, go Pokeball! Yeah, we got it! Alright, good job Humbles! Level 12! Yeah, we're not gonna... I'm gonna not learn Foresight. Hooray, Zul grew to level 5. And learned Tail Whip. Lari grew to level 8. Hooray! This is our Slockoff. Here's his Cry. And here's his fun Pokedex movement. He's just scratching his head. Alright, we are gonna call this... We're gonna call her... Sloan. I was thinking of Sloan from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I was trying to think of something that started with an SL. It's the best one I could I could do at the moment. All the other ones sound way too Slavic. All right. Um, the only other Pokemon we haven't encountered is a Shroomish, but if we don't counter it before we leave, yeah, we're just gonna leave. We'll come back for it later. Yar, this is the Pedalberg Recon Team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Matt. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I can I be continuing investigating that energy we detected. But that kid sure has some promise as a trainer, I'd say. If you don't remember from the last video, I've decided that Team Aqua should all sound like pirates. Uh, we're going to come up here and we're going to talk to this random youngster. What's up? I like to shout my lungs out. It feels so good. You can have this, so try it out. Use it on a Pokemon and it will learn a move that attacks with its voice. If the move is used several times in a row, it becomes more powerful. We got echoed voice. Cool. We can maybe teach that to somebody. A word of advice. A TM or technical machine can be used many times. It won't go away, so try it out as many times as you like. Alright. Alright, we're going to talk to everybody. Hello. This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers throughout the world. Your name is... Hooray for Yoshi. That's a nice name. Thanks. Hooray for Yoshi, would you like to learn about berries? Nah. Flowers bring so much happiness to people, don't they? Hello. Flowers will bloom beautifully and bear many berries if you take good care of them. You'll like tending flowers. I'm sure you can have this. Yay, we got the whale and repail. Now we can plant berries and grow our own berries. While berry plants are growing, water them with the whale and repail. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop onto the ground, but they'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have the will to live. I'm trying to be like my big sisters. I'm growing flowers, too. Here you go, it's for you! Thanks for the Orenberry. 
you can plant a berry to grow more berries, or you can have Pokemon hold it. But now there's a machine that mixes up different berries and makes candies for Pokemon. I want some candy too. All right, weirdo kid. Y'all select berries on your area nav, and you can check places where you've planted berries. And when the berry plant sprout berries, berry symbols will be shown in the berry list in your area nav. So I recommend you check it often. I'm gonna say berries a billion times. All right, let's pick up these berries. Orange berry. All right, we're gonna pick up Hecha berries. Cherry berries. Okay, so we have these three, so let's plant some more. Uh, we only have two cherry berries, so we'll plant two cherry berries, so that way we can get more of those. And then we'll plant some orange berries. And then we'll come back for them later. Don't forget to water them. Oh, planted a petcha berry on accident. Oh well, that's fine. Let's water it. Don't forget to scooch over and water the other ones. And there we go. Nice and damp. All right, we're gonna continue along. Let's actually give some of these berries. We're gonna we're gonna give them to Wanda. We're going to give one to Wendy. And we're going to give one to Humbles. And that's it for now. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Lady Cindy. She's got a zigzagoon. Alright, we are going to poison sting the zigzagoon. Who decided to wave its butt at us? Too bad we didn't poison it first try. And this is why berries are helpful. Switch over to Humbles. Help us take care of this. None of our Pokemon are great high levels at this moment, but we're gonna do our best. Thanks to that orange berry we gave it, it healed itself up nicely. To water gun this zigzagoon, who's still waving its butt around. Some of these zigzagoons we run into are pretty difficult. Alrighty. Hopefully we can take this out. Tail whip. Butt wag. Yeah, got it. Alright. Took care of that. I don't remember if she had another one, but Wanda is now level 10, which means we get to find out what it is. Laurie's level 9, which is nice, and Laurie learned a new move, Bubble. Oh my! 
Pray for Yoshi. Yes, we got some money. All right. Oh, wait, we already know what it's going to be because it's a cascoon. All right, so evolving. And there's our dust ox, which is exciting. It's gonna learn a new move. <clears throat> gust. Yes, we will teach it gust, and we are gonna forget uh, string shot. All right, good evolving, good job. I'm gonna heal up some of these Pokemon with our potions that we... Too bad we don't have a revive for Mike. Or Megan, Megan. <clears throat> okay, sure I will battle. Haley. Low tad. All right, we're gonna use gust on this low tad to make should make quick work of it because of the grass and flying type differences. Super effective. Go team, go. All right, let's keep keep it up. Alright, if she's got another one, we'll pull out a, a secondary Pokemon. Yeah, we're gonna switch over to Wendy to get some levels up from Wendy. To fight this Shroomish. Okay. All right, Wendy. Let's uh, let's just tackle for now. Crit. Let's keep going. Oh, whoops. Sorry, guys. Um, video. There we go. Stop it. For those of you who don't know, Shroomish is grass type. Sleep. We don't want to be leaf seated anymore, so we're gonna switch over. We're gonna switch over to Wanda. We just gotta do some quick, quick help here. Gust. Gust, gust, gust.
Maybe I shouldn't have battled. <clears throat> well, we're gonna keep on keeping on. We got a double battle, so let's set this up so we have some good people for our double. Let's do... Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave Wendy in, but we're gonna put Humbles in for now. Because Humbles need some experience. Alright, double battles. Here we go. Alright, you're gonna battle our Pokemon! Sorry, I missed the first one. Gina and Mia. Wendy's still asleep, so we're gonna do what we can to take care of these guys as quick as possible. Fight a C dot and a low tad. Hopefully poison the poison sting should do some super effective damage against the grass types. Thanks to Shed Skin, we get to wake up. And tackle again. Poison Sting again. Sea Dot is biding its time. It's waiting to get slapped around a little bit more before it tries to fight back. Jeez, at C dot. C dot is resilient. Took out humbles. Alright, we've poisoned Lotad, so that's helpful. Uh, let's put out our own Lotad for good measure. We'll put out Lori. Alright. We're going to... Uh, we're going to conf confuse? No, I don't want to confuse everybody. Teeter Dance will confuse everybody in the area. Which is dumb. Alright. Everybody's going after Lotad. But now we've got rid of the C dots, so that's helpful. Didn't realize it was gonna take this long to get to Rustboro. We didn't really get very far. In the last 25 minutes, it's been a while. These battles and evolutions are taking a, taking up a lot of effort. Hopefully we can make short work of this low tad. Poisoning and poison steam and absorbing should be helpful. Okay. Wendy's now level 9. One more level and we'll get to see our beautiful eye. Alright, we're gonna continue on. Welcome to Rustboro. So 
we have a few things going to be happening in Rustboro here. Right now we're meeting up with May. So you made it here to Rustboro too, hooray for Yoshi. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Root can't even compare. Neither can Petalbird. Oh, and hooray for Yoshi, have you heard? There's a Pokemon Gym here too, which is going to be in our next video. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on with my team. See you later. We're actually going to heal up, and I'm going to end the video for now, That now that we're in a new town. I will record another one a little bit later, and we'll have some dealings in the next couple of videos with Team Aqua, with our pirates, and we'll have uh, our gym battles, which I'll just have, the gym battles will just be one, one, uh, one video, so that'll be nice, and then, um, so yeah, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and feel free to subscribe to my channel, um, please comment below, um, things that you'd like to, to hear, as I said before, comment names you'd like me to name Pokemon that I catch for, in the future, um, suggestions on switch ups to the teams, um, so you know, I'll show you here. Um, which Pokemon we currently are working with. Uh, in our party, uh, we currently have our Mudkip, a Silcoon, a Dustox, a Puchiana, a Zigzagoon, and a Lotad. And in our box, we have our Talo, Tiffany, our Penelope the Wingle, and um, Sloan the Slackoff. So, if you feel like we need to switch things up for this next gym, go ahead and let me know. Um, and so, like I said, leave your comments below, feel free to subscribe, link, link this video to friends who you think might enjoy it, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip-flop. And so, remember to appreciate your Yoshis, and we'll be back soon. This is Hooray for Yoshi signing off for now. Um, thanks a lot, guys.